As the 1940s unfurled, the world found itself entrenched in the throes of World War II, a global conflict of unprecedented scale and significance. Nations formed alliances, drawing lines that would define the geopolitical landscape for years to come. It was a time marked by rapid advancements in military technology, with each breakthrough potentially tilting the balance of power. Against this backdrop of international tension, the urgency of scientific progress became plainly evident. The race was on, not just for new weapons, but for a decisive tool that could end the war and redefine the notion of conflict. This pursuit led to the initiation of the Manhattan Project, an endeavor cloaked in secrecy and driven by the existential threat felt by the Allied forces. Genius minds like physicist J. Robert Oppenheimer and Enrico Fermi converged on the task, as both the U.S. government and military recognized that the creation of an atomic bomb could halt the Axis powers' advance. With each passing day, as battles raged across continents, the scientists and military personnel associated with the Manhattan Project worked with unrelenting fervor, aware that their efforts might alter the fabric of warfare and the course of history itself. The origin story of the Manhattan Project begins in the shadows of secrecy. Amidst the spiraling tensions of World War II, a sense of urgency gripped the United States. The fear that Nazi Germany might be first to develop a nuclear weapon drove the U.S. government into action. In a letter dated August 2, 1939, penned by Leo Szilard and famously signed by Albert Einstein, President Franklin D. Roosevelt was warned about the potential for a new type of bomb of unprecedented destructive power. This pivotal moment marked the unofficial inception of what would become the Manhattan Project. Central to the project were figures like J. Robert Oppenheimer, dubbed the father of the atomic bomb. Oppenheimer, a brilliant physicist, was appointed the scientific director of the Manhattan Project. Alongside him were dynamic minds like Enrico Fermi, who created the first controlled nuclear reaction, and Leo Szilard, who not only prompted the initial warning to the president, but also had earlier formulated the idea of a nuclear chain reaction. These scientists shouldered the monumental responsibility of harnessing the power of the atom while racing against the ruthless progression of war. But the project wasn't just a gathering of great minds, it was also an extraordinary collaboration between academia, industry, and the military. It was the military's role, through the Army Corps of Engineers, to ensure the project had the resources and logistical framework necessary for success. Massive secret installations were constructed at Oak Ridge, Los Alamos, and Hanford, often with workers unaware of the true purpose behind their tasks. The government's hand was firm yet obscured, funneling an estimated $2 billion, over $28 billion in today's money, into the endeavor without the knowledge of the public or the majority of the Congress. Delving into the scientific challenges of the Manhattan Project, it becomes clear that the task was anything but straightforward. The sheer complexity of designing the atomic bomb required an interdisciplinary fusion of physics, chemistry, metallurgy, and engineering. At the heart of the project was the principle of nuclear fission, a process that was only theoretically understood at the time. Scientists had to answer fundamental questions about how to initiate and control a chain reaction powerful enough to fuel a bomb. Beyond the complexities of the science itself, the practical aspects of building the bomb presented immense obstacles. One of the most monumental tasks was securing the necessary materials, such as uranium and plutonium. These elements were so scarce that entirely new processes had to be created for their production and refinement. Gathering these resources involved a global effort with raw materials sourced from remote corners of the earth. Constructing facilities like the massive ones at Oak Ridge, Tennessee, and Hanford, Washington, required a workforce of hundreds of thousands of people, all of whom had to work under the tightest security to maintain the project's secrecy. The brilliance behind solving the many unprecedented technical problems of the Manhattan Project can't be understated. Each hurdle required innovative solutions, often leading to advancements in related scientific fields. 
Take, for example, the creation of the first nuclear reactor under the Stagg Field stands at the University of Chicago. Led by Enrico Fermi, this achievement marked the first controlled nuclear chain reaction, a pivotal moment in science. The project's success is a testament to the human capacity for ingenuity, especially when driven by the urgency of wartime necessity, and it serves as a reminder of what is possible when the sharpest minds are united by a common goal. In this segment of the Daily History Podcast, we venture into the profound moral quandaries that the Manhattan Project engendered. At the very heart of this endeavor was the creation of a weapon of mass destruction. The gravity of what they were constructing was not lost on those involved. Scientists like Oppenheimer and Szilard, who had once eagerly pursued atomic research, found themselves wrestling with the consequences of their work. The theoretical became terrifyingly tangible as the project neared completion. Debates raged among the brilliant minds at Los Alamos as the ethical implications of using such a weapon began to crystallize. Some argued the bomb would end the war swiftly and save countless lives, while others feared the long-term global consequences. The decision to use the atomic bomb was ultimately taken by political leaders, far removed from the scientific equations and the laboratories. President Truman, his advisors, and military commanders faced a decision of unprecedented magnitude. In August 1945, after careful consideration and with the implications heavily weighing upon them, they authorized the bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. This act would forever alter the landscape of warfare and international relations. The detonation over Hiroshima on August 6, 1945, echoed far beyond the immediate devastation, heralding a new age in politics and warfare, the age of the atomic bomb. This unprecedented power reshaped the global political landscape, instituting a delicate balance of terror known as mutually assured destruction. Nations recognized that possessing nuclear weapons could serve as both the ultimate deterrent and a grim promise of apocalyptic consequences should deterrence fail. In the subsequent years, the Cold War between the United States and the Soviet Union would be defined by a nuclear arms race, with each superpower amassing an arsenal capable of destroying the world many times over. The legacy of the Manhattan Project also had staggering implications for nuclear proliferation. Initially held by only a select few, the knowledge and technology to create these weapons of mass destruction began to spread, creating a select club of nuclear nations. It wasn't long before the United Kingdom, France, and China developed and tested their own nuclear devices, adding new players to the geopolitical chessboard. This escalation led to international efforts to control the spread of nuclear materials and information, like the Treaty on the Non-Proliferation of Nuclear Weapons, signed in 1968, which sought to prevent the further spread of such arms, promote disarmament, and encourage the peaceful uses of nuclear energy. Yet, it's important to highlight the scientific and technological advancements that emerged from the ashes. The unprecedented challenges of the Manhattan Project propelled leaps in numerous fields such as physics, engineering, and computer science. The partnership of private industry, academia, and the government set a precedent for future research and development practices. It catalyzed advancements in areas ranging from medicine, with the development of new cancer treatments using radiation, to space exploration and nuclear power, fundamentally altering humanity's approach to energy and pushing us further into the atomic age. Through this lens, the Manhattan Project is not just a moment in history, but a crucible from which the modern age was formed. It's a testament to human ingenuity and also a cautionary tale about the moral responsibilities that come with scientific discovery. As we continue to grapple with the ethical implications of technological advancement, the echoes of the Manhattan Project still resonate, reminding us of the power we wield and the care we must take in its use. As we approach the end of this intriguing episode on the Manhattan Project, let's take a moment to reflect on the essential themes we've uncovered. Together, we delved into the project's clandestine beginnings, spotlighting the vital roles played by figures such as Oppenheimer, 
Fermi, and Szilard. Their groundbreaking work, set against a backdrop of world war and unprecedented scientific endeavor, launched a national mission that would forever alter the global landscape. Through our journey today, we unraveled the formidable scientific challenges faced in designing the atomic bomb. We honored the ingenuity that overcame technical hurdles ranging from theoretical physics puzzles to the practicalities of constructing massive, specialized facilities. It is these milestones and the brilliant minds behind them that led to one of humanity's most awe-inspiring yet fearsome creations. We also ventured into the labyrinth of ethical and moral complexities that all who worked on the Manhattan Project had to navigate. The responsibility of wielding such destructive power weighed heavily on scientists and politicians alike. The decisions they made in those testing times have sparked debates that continue to this day about the ethical implications of such profound scientific capabilities. Our narrative wouldn't be complete without acknowledging the profound legacy of the Manhattan Project. Its aftermath has influenced international relations, propelled advancements in science and technology, and instigated an era of nuclear proliferation whose ramifications are still being felt. In remembering these historical events, we gain invaluable insights into our present world and the opportunities and challenges we confront when shaping our future. The echoes of the past inform our decisions and the paths we choose to follow, reinforcing the undying relevance of studying our shared heritage. Looking ahead, we'll continue to unearth the pivotal chapters of our history in the next episode of the Daily History Podcast. Will we explore the enigmatic tales of lost civilizations, delve into the biographies of history's silent heroes, or perhaps unlock the secrets of ancient inventions? Be sure to tune in to satisfy your historical curiosity. Remember, your engagement is what fuels our collective journey through time. Thank you for tuning in to today's episode of the Daily History Podcast. We hope you found the journey through the Manhattan Project both enlightening and stimulating. If you've enjoyed this episode, please subscribe to our channel and share your thoughts in the comment section below. What historical topics spark your curiosity? Suggest them, and the idea with the most likes could be the focus of one of our upcoming episodes. Your engagement helps keep history alive, and we're grateful for your participation. Until next time, keep digging into the stories of our past to understand the world of today.